getting jammed up. All right. So we were uh, getting the concrete guy lined up for the Henson Creek House of Prayer. And then we had some permit issues. And they wanted me to hook up to the electric. Or, well, excuse me. If I hook up to the electric and the city water, of course, you have to get a permit. You have to get inspected. Here in Casey County, if you're not hooking up to the electric, you're not hooking up to the city water, uh, you don't have to get a permit. And a lot of the Amish, Mennonites, other people that are not hooking up to the city water or the electric, they don't get a permit for whatever homes they're building or whatever structures they're building. So uh, the inspector told me, you know, I have to get a permit. And I told him, well, I, I just, I don't, I don't feel like I should get a permit because number one, I haven't seen it clearly stated in the law that I have to get a permit. Uh, and for number two, if I do go get a permit, then I have to be according to code. If I'm according to code, I can't saw my own lumber off the farm and use it. Uh, and so according to code, you have to have it stamped by the licensed grader. And you know, when you have, a beam or you have a floor joist uh, that has a big old knot in it uh, then you could potentially have a collapse or you know somebody could get hurt and so when I'm building I'm gonna be careful not to, uh, to grade my lumber make sure we don't have anything with a big old knot in it that could break and hurt somebody so we're planning to be careful but uh, anyway because of the permit issues that we're dealing with right now uh, I have this 20 by 50 pole barn and so I store farm machinery in it and so we are putting four joists in here we're gonna put a floor in it put windows in it skylights in it and we're gonna to meet to worship our Creator in this upper room and so this morning we have stand fast in great heart we've got Thomas a volunteer we've got Bill a volunteer and Eric is a volunteer behind the camera and we're gonna go out we're gonna cut some trees just like you know Elisha the school of the prophets was too small and they said hey everybody get an axe if you don't have an axe borrow one we're gonna go cut some trees so we're gonna go cut some trees we've got a mill here and we're gonna mill it into lumber and so we are gonna gonna show you what we're doing today um, but we're also gonna teach you some things so that if you need to cut a tree down at your place that it's educational so you'll be equipped with some knowledge to be able to go and cut your own trees to go do whatever projects you need to do in your home or your farm so let's go on over here and uh load up in the wagon and we'll go out to the woods let's do it yeah Woo! <laughs> Say hi. 
guys. <laughs> we got tents back here too. Yeah. We got a bunch of pines that the wind blew down. We got a leaner up here, which is going to be a little bit more of a challenge to get out. But uh, with the Lord's blessing, we'll get it cut. Widowmaker. We got those logs out the other morning. Alright, let's unhook these chains here. Just let them drop. Alright, Thomas, you want to grab we need this and then we need this chain. Just throw it over there. Whoa! This is called an evener, or um, also called a double tree. Uh, go ahead and hook those. Hook those chains up. I know. <laughs> he won't kick you. He's just his foot itches. Yeah. And he's trying to get that itch away. There's that one. Where's that chain? Uh, there was a. Oh, there here it is. Take that one off. There you go. There you go. Now, do you usually hook it on the first link or? Uh, for now, yes. For now? Okay. Yep. So, it's very important to have this swivel here mm -hmm. when you're, because the log can roll. And if you don't have that swivel, then uh, it can it can actually break your chain. Uh, it gets all bound up. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that swivel is really important. All right, let's grab some chainsaws. Ear protection is should be in here. Yeah, there we go. There's ear plugs. Yeah, uh, tree there that's leaning. The leaner. Uh, that we're planning to cut that, and then uh, we're gonna pull it down with the horses. Good.
we're going to cut a path here for the horses. I think I can kind of go through there. I was thinking I would try to swing it through here. I don't want to cut that dogwood right there. Uh, there's a dogwood right there. But anything else, we just cut. I was yeah. thinking the way it's wedged up there, if you take out this little one here and that yeah. one right there, it might fall. Well, yeah, we do We do need to, uh, that that tree right there can be cut down. Yeah. Uh, this one right there. Yep. So, Thomas, go ahead and cut that one. And then I'm going to nip some of these off to make a path. I won't cut it on this side, though, so if the tree falls, you're not in the way. Oh, yeah. Chains a little bit loose after that one. Okay. Put my safety glasses on. <laughs> uh, thank you to the people that sent these safety glasses. Uh, it, they are a blessing. Uh, I just need to remember to put them on when I'm using my chainsaw. Uh, okay. I'm just trying to think of what the best way, best path to get out of here. Uh, Uh, you know, we really should ask God for His wisdom and direction and yes. His protection. Our Father in Heaven, we're grateful that we can be out here in, in your woods and thank you for these trees you've created. Uh, give us wisdom and skill and direction to know uh, how to get these trees out uh, in an efficient and a safe way. Uh, we don't want to cut trees down that we don't need to cut down. So. Just guide the horses, guide us. Give the horses willing hearts to work. Uh, give them strength. Um, give us willing hearts to always serve you also. Um, thank you for creating horses that are willing to help with this project. Thank you for the volunteers that you have sent. Bless each one. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah, he'll guide us to know how to get this thing done.
right through there where your hat comes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. They're eager to go get something done. Huh. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh. Whoa. 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 Someone might want to cut Whoa. that branch. You might scare the horse. Yeah, do we have an axe? We got a. We do have an axe right here. Whoa! Back. Back. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! I should have cut this one. Whoa! <laughs> Easy boys. I see they're in another tree there. That tree came down pretty quick, huh? Yeah. Uh, let's pop it at about, uh, we're going to go to about nine inches in diameter. Cut it, uh, cut it, do an undercut until it binds just a little bit, and then cut it. Good call.
Okay, now we're gonna shorten the we're gonna shorten the, the way that it's hooked up because the when you shorten the chains up, uh, it gives a little bit of lift on the log, which will make it easier for them to pull it. So, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. So see, we have it hooked at the end. Just take the shortest one and hook it in like that, and then we got a loop there. Whoa. Yeah, which one? How many loops did you go up? One, two. All the way. So. Oh, all the way up here. I got you. Right. Whoa. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa. 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 See, see. Oh. 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 Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Oh. Ooh, that was a close call. Oh. 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 <laughs> they sure took off, didn't they? <laughs> They'll go run back to the For a minute there, there was a uh, tree coming up. I thought they were going to go right in between on each side of it. They'll usually take off and run back to the barn. Oh, they got caught up in a tree trying to <laughs> get past it. <laughs> They didn't get too far, huh? Yeah. Well, I think the chain broke. Oh, really? It's like what might have happened right here. Yeah. Whatever you had on here slipped off or broke, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. It either slipped off or it broke. Uh, it hit the, the log hit a uh, little small tree. And, uh, This is a good opening for them to come yeah. through. Uh, I'll go and get those dogs uh, and we'll drive some dogs into it. These dogs are probably a hundred years old. Uh, these are the uh, way loggers used to they use these quite often uh, it's kind of my fault uh, I should have taken the time to uh, cut a little better path in here so we live and learn uh, but they took off pretty quick and then the log hit this little tree here 
And then we don't know where the chain went to. Yeah, it, it just probably broke, or I'm not really sure exactly uh, where it is. Uh, and so, because yeah. Uh, so, let me uh, I'm use a saw. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this little stalb off. Just hold this up for me so he doesn't step over it. I'm gonna move him over this way. One of our grabs came loose, which can happen uh, when you take a real sharp turn, or sometimes they'll pop out. So we'll drive it in. The and one then, on top looks like it could use a couple wax too. Uh, when we make this turn, we got to make it this turn. It may catch on that little tree right there. But we may, we may not have to cut it. Okay. So let's just see what happens. Uh, and if I would have to do this over again, I probably would have cut this log in half, and then to make just make two trips. Yeah. Uh, make it six some, sometimes it's better to just make two trips. But uh, anyway, we don't always uh, do the the best ideas, but we try. Oh, whoa. Watch out, because it's going that way. Whoa. When you're logging with horses when it's short like this it lifts the log up and it's easier for them to pull but if they have no load on the evener then when they walk they'll hit their heels on it so when we have no load to pull then we just lengthen our chains 
so we're like lengthening our chain because we're not going to have any load on our way back. Skip ham the skip hammer. Uh, all right. Uh, we'll just leave the skip hammer here, and then we'll we'll drive with the uh, mall that we have up there. Let's go up and get another log. Okay. Uh, we've got a tree right here. This ash tree is dead, but uh, it should still be sound inside. The ash trees are going extinct, uh, just like the American chestnut. Uh, we've got a little kind of a, a soft maple here. It's kind of rotting in certain areas. So my plan is we're going to cut this soft maple down and let it fall down there. And then that'll make a path for this ash tree to fall. And we're, I'm planning to take this ash and saw it into uh, two by sixes for Joyce for the upper room. Nice. And we'll worship there until we can get the permit issue worked out and get the concrete and all the foundation and all the rest of it built in the site that, that everybody's seen. So, uh, when you're, we're gonna do an educational uh, part here. So, uh, if if I wanted to, to cut this tree down this direction, I would saw in to cut my notch, and I would I would keep this line in the direction that I want it to fall. So, uh, this particular tree. I want to fall it this way. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to, kind of like cutting a slice out of a watermelon. I'm going to cut my notch over here. Bring, yes, bring the, the yeah. splitting ball and the wedge. That's the line. That's where I want the tree to fall. So I've sawed in until that line lines up. If I if I wanted it to fall that way, I would saw in until that line's over there. So my next step is to cut down. And you when you cut down, it's very important that this line here, this cut matches up with that. So if you miss it and this is too far back. Like let's say that it comes, this is cut here and then this cut comes. If this cut comes to here like that, and you have a space there, your, your tongue won't work. That won't work well. So you wanna have these line up uh, correctly in order to have control over where your tree falls. bit higher this wedge so this this pie piece that's been cut out or this this notch that's been notched you want the back cut to be a little bit higher than this it's mm -hmm. ideal to have it up a little bit higher so uh, the cut will be if the cut is down here that's not going to work as well it's not going to be as safe it won't work as well you won't have as much control over your tree even is okay, 
but uh, it's it's always ideal to have it up just a little bit higher. So our goal is our goal is to cut right in there, and then I'm gonna make a mark over here to try to line to try to line it up. So that I've kind of got it even on both sides. Here you go. Heads up, heads up. Yeah, that's why it's a good idea to wear a hard hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did pray for God's protection today. Yeah. If it would have landed on his head, uh, it wouldn't have been very healthy. It's moving every time you hit it, just so you know. Yeah, it's going to. <laughs> Okay, Eric, come over here for a minute. Yep. Uh, so, in this case, I'm gonna nip, if I nip off too much here, it's, <coughs> if I nip off too much here, it'll want to go over that way. So I don't want to, I don't want it going over that way. Uh, so, <coughs> I'm gonna nip off some in the middle, kind of like I make a little pocket in there, and then that'll encourage it to go over. So I don't want to nip off too much over here or over on the other side. <laughs> okay, now that that one is there, uh, I'm, uh, I think I'm just going to cut this tongue off, and uh, with the Lord's blessing, it'll twist a little bit, and then it'll come down. Mm. Yeah, right there in that corner, still. <laughs> Twist. It almost Where's our can't hook. It's got a long handle. Yeah, oh, it's had that too. So uh 
I was thinking about using the cant hook and rolling this off. Uh, so if we roll it this way, it may come down. Uh, if that doesn't work, then I'm just going to cut that pine tree and let that pine tree drop. So we'll, we'll find out and see what happens. Looks like it's still hooked to wood down there. You yeah. If it's a saw, you might be able to. I'm just going to cut this other pine tree. So, yeah, watch out. This pine tree, there's not really a nice space for it to fall. It may fall and get caught in one of these pines up here. Uh, so, we'll see. Uh, Why don't we pray about it that the Lord will guide the tree? Yeah. Father, uh, I'm grateful that we can work in the woods today. We ask that you would continue to keep us safe. And we ask that you would guide this tree down, that it would not be caught. We know that you give us an answer to the prayer of faith. What you otherwise would not have given had we not asked. Mm -hmm. And so we're asking, and you said asking, you shall receive. Thank you for hearing our prayer and answering as you see best. We ask for an angel to guide this tree down on the ground. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. how that cut lines up come over on this side so I missed my target see how the cut goes back there so I won't have as good control over the tree if I leave it that way so I'm gonna I'm gonna make another cut so that it'll line up there for a little better perspective.
Yeah, uh, this one here has a big old rotten spot, but uh, probably get this this guy right here. It may be kind of rotten there, but I don't know. We'll we'll cut into it. Maybe. Heads up, heads up. Tree surfing. <laughs> Our goal is to get this, this tree off the stump. I got my saw stuck in there. I wanted to make sure I cut off all the tongue, and when I cut off all the tongue, it dropped and it pinched my saw, so he, he's fine there. Okay. All right. Whoa! All right, good, we're off the stump. That's beautiful. Whoa, 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 easy, whoa. whoa. easy, 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 wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. heads up Bill in case it comes over yeah. your way, they want to run, that tree wants to fall, whoa, 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 Will you hold these lines for me? Easy. All right, I'm gonna go up to their heads and try to guide them. Don't, uh, just don't want them to go forward. Uh, yeah. Easy. Whoa, 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 Touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. All right. I think the best plan here is we'll unhook them and then uh, I'll get them past this tree. Back. Good boy. This morning our father in heaven gave us success uh, no injuries uh, I made a few mistakes with uh, should have cut a little better paths for the horses uh, we still didn't find the chain <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Only uh, our Father in Heaven and the angels know exactly where it is. Uh, we did look for it, so I, I don't know. Uh, it must have broken or somehow flew off. Uh, but uh, we were still able to get the logs out. And uh, now we're going to go back to the house and we're going to have a gardening class after lunch. Uh, uh, I just want to say thank you to the Father. Our Father, we're so grateful that you did answer our prayers and you did keep us safe. And sometimes when we're log, people log, they get a broken back or a broken arm or a broken leg or a horse can get a broken leg or uh, other injuries. We're grateful for your protection. You're so good to us. We pray you bless us. And as we work for you to prepare a house uh, where people can come and pray and be delivered from sin and from the oppression of Satan. Uh, help yes. us, Father. Continue giving us success. Continue blessing us as, as a team here that we could be a blessing. And we ask in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Got a hook up the chain here. It's called the trace or the tug. Hook up the great heart. Back, great heart. Back, back, back. And uh, we're going to head out across the field. <laughs> there he is. Whoa. That was a close one. They, they know that barn has um, lunch. So they're ready to go. Easy. <laughs> Every day is a good day when you have Jesus. But the days that I get to work my horses are like the best days. Yeah. Well, Sabbath is the best day. <laughs> but the second best day I get to walk with my horses. Wow. It's so much fun for me. It's hard work. It's so fun. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Just like that. You know, you just feel at it. Yes, Blake. Stress. Yes. For me to work with horses. And I, I appreciate how they never complain about work. They don't want to get bored. <laughs> Sometimes the stand fast, like he doesn't pull as hard or he'll give up when it's a really heavy load. Great heart does not give up. <laughs> so when Great Heart doesn't give up, then stand fast kind of joins him. <laughs> if they were both like sand fast, we wouldn't get some of those logs out, some of the bigger logs. We'd have to cut them out with our shoulders. Uh, and it kind of reminds me how when we're working for Christ, there are some people who are more determined and stronger. And they kind of get things going. And then once people see, oh, something's going for the Lord, other people join in. But it takes somebody determined to start, and then others will kind of come and support later. That's kind of how it is with this team. Now comes a really bumpy part. <laughs> oh, and we also pray that Father would hold off the rain. It's been spitting on us, sprinkling just a little bit, but we're not, you know, not hindering us from working. 